Uh, hello. In this tutorial, I want to use motion capture using Xbox 360 Kinect and Breco Kinect and version 5 and the Autodesk Motion Builder 2012. I'm not gonna cover how to install Breco Kinect or Motion Builder, so uh, I open Breco Kinect. Mm. Okay, as uh, we've seen here, um, first thing we have to set some certain settings. So before we start the recording, and um, that's me in here. Um, first, in the color depth, in the color source, we can change it to infrared or in visible light, but I prefer to use visible light. And on the point cloud, uh, on the draw, we can put a point or quad, but I feel like quads will give me more sharper edge other than the point. So um, uh, we just have to see like whether which one is more suitable. And uh, I, I, I prefer to use quads because it's giving more sharper edge. And uh, um, mean depth and max depth is just like uh, about the what the limitation, what the uh, I mean, like to cut the place, like uh, like right now. I'm in front. I don't want to see uh, front myself. So I just limited to mean and max is also from cutting from back. So I don't really want to see the whiteboard, so I just cut it, as we can see. And uh, uh, CPU uh, and uh, FPS and tilt is just showing us like uh, how much the percentage of using CPU and FPS and tilt. Uh, FPS is like the frame per second for video, and the CPU is like for the CPU uh, usage and tilt, you can change the tilt of the camera based on your height. Uh, I'm quite tall, I, I prefer to use like 8 or 9. And uh, user track, uh, right now, prime sense is on. If I go inside the scene, it will recognize any character. But one side don't want to use it. I mean, like one side, no one inside this camera at all, because it's uh, annoying all those like sounds and uh, giving some annoying noise. Uh, and uh, in here we have a skeleton mode, like uh, if the character inside and uh, you want uh, you want it like the movement become more smoother, don't like break in the in between. So we can just make it higher, so it become more smoother. But it's not good for like some certain action, like martial art. It's just like it should be a little bit more faster. So it's just based on your animation uh, that you want to uh, I mean act. And uh, should be that's all. I turn off the prime scenes right now because I'm not using it for now. Now I open uh, motion builder. It's opening the uh, 2012 latest version. So, um, um, so right now I have to uh, put the device to let the motion builder knows that I'm using Kinect and transfer data. So, under the asset browser uh, template, you uh, click on a device and you will find Breaker Connect device. Uh, yeah, probably sh you should download and install the plugin inside the website, so then you can see it. I'm just drag and drop it on the uh, view canvas. Then uh, uh, you will uh, on, on under the navigation navigator, you will see a window open if. You couldn't see it under the device. Just click on the plus and double click on the um, breakout connect device. You will see it. 
So once you, uh, you uh, it pop out, I mean like you start, you just press on the online, it turns to green light. It is yellow, means like it doesn't really uh, connect to the breaker or the breaker is closed. Right now I'm not clicking on live. Um, I'll make my character. So it, uh, it should be on T-Pose. Uh, if it's not on T-Pose, then uh, later once you record an animation, you have to uh, keyframe it and put it uh, on T-Pose so you can uh, characterize your model. It makes your life a little more easier. So I'll go to Characterize Tool and I create new, well, it's giving you some default name as a character. So I start to let the program know what pose is what. So I mean, like, characterize it. And, uh, oops. Um, right, it's in this one is head. The another thing is uh, uh, Kinect uh, cannot uh, capture uh, finger, toy, and uh, face um, movement. It just uh, capture all the motion of body except finger and toy. So uh, now is uh, done. I just make it like uh, lock the character and make it biped so uh, I already characterized my model so I don't have any problem so I go to device again and double click on it now uh, um, I put on live because right now no one is in inside the scene so I myself will go and try to add something then, um, then uh, once you live it, you most probably will see s if the character inside is recognized in the breaker, you will see someone and the phone is moving inside the scene. Then I uh, press on uh, recording and uh, the record button is asking you for override, then you, you accept it. Then you press play and it starts recording it. So right now, uh, I forgot to turn on the prime scene so that's why it was record so uh, t you turn on the prime scene then uh, you come to uh, motion boulder and it starts out in front of it so I just say record override yes and play Uh, as you saw, um, it it's actually uh, it couldn't re uh, record it properly because uh, um, my pants was same color and my hands was same color. So once they overlapping each other, just the program cannot recognize it, which uh, I mean like which part is which part. So. Uh, I made my own custom uh, clothes, so like with different colors. So uh, Xbox 360 can uh, the Kinect can uh, recognize it properly. So I pause the video and I uh, wear that suit or that clothes. Um, okay, I wear my suit, but actually it's not a suit; it's more like a coat. And uh, the thing is, uh, uh, 
I cut the different uh, type of uh, cloth and uh, I tie them with rubber band and uh, so if any type of people with different size they want to wear they can wear it but if you guys uh, have uh, uh, used clothes you can just paint over it and use it just have to be some like different part of body have a different uh, color and in here uh, first I will put plastic on clean the data and um, as what you see in here press on record it's asking override and I said yes I want to override but uh, it's supposed to be zero I guess yes then I press on play I press on stop. So I try to hack and try to get my leg close to each other and my hand so to see whether is it gonna misunderstand or not. But some certain part it does. So that uh, I untick the live view and recording. Then I go back to see my animation. Well, it, it does a great job on Great fast to each other, but some certain part like here, maybe I, I don't know why, but yeah, uh, it helps a lot. Uh, once you wear different clothes, you just can recognize the body part perfectly. And because it's one camera, uh, it's better to be look straight on camera. If if it's side, it cannot recognize other parts of the body, so. Uh, it's good for two cameras, not for one camera, but right now connect uh, so far that I know it doesn't really work with two camera. So uh, that's my animation and there is a character uh, this characterization that I made for it and uh, it's uh, easier for transfer from this model to our rich model. Later on I will make a tutorial about how I made uh, this, uh, uh, not made, I mean transfer uh, the data from the uh, mocap one to our rich character. And, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, and uh, by the way, uh, I saved the file in number two. And the right override and save. Yeah. Thank you.